Minister, every time that the energy crisis is raised, and I've raised it with both Minister Humphreys and the Taunashta numerous times, we are told about the fuel allowance as the solution and nothing else, no new actions or measures. And I've repeatedly made the point that the fuel allowance is extremely limited, and that is the problem. I've now learned from a recent reply from the Minister that the increase in eligibility which was announced in the budget will only impact and extend the fuel allowance possibly to an estimated 4,500 households and that does not kick in until January. The other fuel allowance measure announced in relation to job seekers will benefit an estimated 3,300 households. So support for an additional 7,800 households where the vast majority of them will not see that support until January. Given the scale of the energy crisis, this is not enough. And I am again asking that the government will consider a discretionary fund. This has been put forward by the Society of St. Vincent de Paul, who are spending millions every year supporting you, Deputy, families. We have to acknowledge the energy you, crisis is an emergency Thank and we need much, more Minister. than a fuel allowance. Yeah, no, well, Deputy, as, as you know, in the recent budget, there was, a, there was an emphasis on, on trying to recognise the fact that we are seeing fuel inflation and increased costs for families and homes uh, and, uh, and independent assessments of the budget have shown that, that the government is successfully uh, compensating for that. Um, but look, we'll, we'll obviously keep this under review as we move through the winter in terms of the, um, uh, the energy issues that we were discussing already uh, uh, during question time. Thank you, Minister.